Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0, live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason. My call sign is Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. And today we're going to be uh, debuting, unboxing a brand new radio, the TYT TH7800. This is basically the TH9800, which uh, we've talked about before. Uh, you can see uh, some videos on my website about the TH9800. Uh, it's been a real popular radio over the last year and a half, year and year and a three quarters, almost two years, almost two years, but not quite. Uh, quad band that incorporates uh, 10 meter, 6 meter, 2 meter, 440. The TH7800 that we're going to talk about today is uh, just a dual band, 2 meter, 440. Uh, they advertise 50 watts on 2 meters. We're going to take a look at that here in a minute. And they advertise 40 watts. Yes, 40. <laughs> I was looking at the box. Uh, they advertise 40 watts on 440. So we're going to take a look at that here in just a minute and um, see how well this radio works. It's got a kind of a new design. The face is new. It's got round buttons instead of square, and uh, it looks like it might have a, a new backlight. I haven't powered it up yet. We're going to power it up here in a minute and look at it and, and get uh, all the info we need on it. So uh, stay tuned for one minute. Also, if you found me on YouTube... Uh, please go to my website, grapevineamateurradio.com, and at the top of that page, there is a link, or is a tab, for Ham Radio 2.0. Click on that tab, and you can see all the videos that I've done. All the new videos that I will do will be posted to that same page. And at the top of that page, uh, it'll allow you to sign up for a subscription service or give a one-time donation. Uh, these videos cost money to make. I want to continue making them. I want to improve the quality of them. And I want to get more radios and uh, review more items. Um, so, uh, but the the videos themselves will always be free. You will never have to pay to view the videos ever. They'll always be free, open to the public on YouTube. Uh, share them as much as you want to. Share them on Facebook. Share them on Twitter. Share them on Google Plus. Share them to your friends, to your club, whatever. Um, but I am asking for donations. Uh, my focus is to try to get enough money raised so I can do this as a full time gig and uh, be able to um, put the time I need into providing uh, you with as many videos as I can at the highest quality that I can. So uh, take a look at that page, please. Uh, but uh, right now we're going to look at the TYT TH7800, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here we have the TYT TH7800. You see the box is a little bit different. It's got uh, an actual <laughs> correct model number on it, which is unusual for some of these Chinese guys. They make uh, the same radio with uh, the same model number, but uh, they may or may not be the same radio. TYT makes a TH9000, which comes in 2 meters, 220, or 440. It's a mono band radio, and it comes in three different bands, but it's always a TH9000, so you got to be careful about which one you get which one you want so right here it says 50 watts output power for 144 megahertz and 40 watts for 430 megahertz now what I did notice because I opened this up the other day it says actually it says it on the manual too okay I was wrong I was gonna say the manual I got some brochures they sent me some brochures as advertisement brochures for uh, on this radio and the brochure said it was 35 watts output on 430 megahertz. But at least the manual is updated for the right model number. Uh, you've got your same basic stuff here. The radio. There. And then in here you've got your separation kit. Power cable, microphone, mounting bracket, everything just like the last one was. There's a mic clip in there too. So that is that. What we're going to do is hook this thing up and turn it on. Alright, I wanted to get a close up. 
you can see the buttons are round. It's just a different look. It's kind of a more sleek looking design. A little bit more unique looking. There's a rounded edge here at the top. Rounded on the corners. So it's uh it's definitely not the same exact radio as the quad band. And it does have a redesign. All right, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised here. This is going to be I got to do some testing with this radio in the car and see what kind of uh, audio reports I get from it. My main thing about the quad bander, uh, I ran one in my truck for about a year and a half. I just took it out like uh, a couple months ago, and the only reason I took it out was to put in that uh, Waxon uh, UV920P with the 2 meter 220. I reviewed that radio a few episodes back, and uh, it's still in the truck right now, so I'm kind of missing 440. I need to swap that back out. But the only, but that was the only reason I took it out. I ran the TH9800 in my truck for almost well about a year and a half. And the only issue I ever had with it was that the mic was too hot. Uh, you get a lot of background noise when driving down the road. I drive a big 4x4 pickup truck. Um, so people would say, yeah, we can hear you, but you you got a lot of background noise behind you. In a, in a home base or a ham shack environment, uh, it'd be a great radio. So, that was, so I'm going to have to test that on this radio and see what the results are. But this is cool. I tinkered with this for just a few minutes before I turn the camera on. Got low here. So I've got uh, 146.52, 444.0. I got a dummy load off camera here that you can't see. So we're not going to be able to key any repeaters right now. But turn this over here. And you can see it pegs the needle, <clears throat> keying up on low power on 2 meters. I'm on the 5 watt setting right here. Ooh, too much. Strange, I don't know why it's doing that. There's some feedback into here, so, okay. But that's low power. That might be an issue. Might be some kind of bug I got to report. I'll get to check that. It didn't do that here in a second before I tested it off camera. Uh, so let's see. That's five watts, low power, both bands. Pretty much what you would expect. Nothing special there. Turn them both up to mid power, mid one power. Still getting some feedback in the other band here. I wonder if we switch frequencies. All the controls are pretty much the same. Okay, it's no longer feeding back. That may be an issue. So we're keyed up on mid one power on 440 on a 20 watt scale, and it's pushing about 14 watts. That's good. 2 meters, same 20 watt scale. Mid power 1, pushing about 10 watts. Turn both of those up. I think it's going to be more than 20 watts on mid 2. Actually, I got that backwards. It's mid 2 first, then mid 1. So mid 1, second to the highest setting right here. On the 200 watt scale, we're kicking about 20 watts again. Yep, right at 20 watts on the 2 meter side. Kind of pegs the needle. I think the 440 side actually does a little bit higher. Well, it's about 25, maybe 26 watts on 440. On mid one, second to highest power. I think you're going to like this part right here. Two meters, high power, 200 watt scale. 
right at 50 watts. Maybe 51, 52 watts. We're on 145.555 here. 444.0. Right about in the middle of the... Well, at the low end, maybe, of the... Well, no, the high, the high end of the receive for the repeater band on 440. Right at 50 watts. Both bands are doing 50 watts on high power. I turned it when the, when the radio first powered on, the 440 side was at 430. I had it up on high power. I was pushing about 65, almost 70 watts right there on 430. Not that you'd ever talk on FM down there on 430, but still kind of cool. Try it on 460 and see what happens. On 460, it's dropped down a bit. I'm getting about 35, 32, 34 watts somewhere in there. <laughs> 450 was still over 50 watts at 450. So all the way through the amateur band, you're going to be at 50 watts all the way through the amateur band. You go up here to the GMRS FRS band, high power, about almost 40 watts. Again, we're going into a dummy load here, so I'm not actually transmitting. About 38, 39 watts, something like that. <laughs> 467, uh, a little bit higher, about 45 watts right there. So, Excellent, excellent performance as far as power output goes. About 42 different... Uh, menu options here. They look to be about the same. It still has the AM option. Of course, you don't have 10 meters, so you can't monitor 11 meters like you could on the other ones. The other one, the, uh, the quad banner would monitor AM on 11 meters. Uh, you couldn't transmit. Some of the early one, earlier ones would let you transmit. The ones I have don't let you transmit. Um, but you could monitor aircraft band, I, I would think. Go over here and... Yeah. In fact, it automatically switched to AM when I went down to 120. So I could monitor aircraft bound down here if I wanted to. Kind of neat. So I'm I'm impressed. I think this uh, unlike its uh, unlike the uh, the TH ninety eight hundred with the two twenty option in it. I was kind of disappointed in, but this one is uh, this one looks promising. Okay, so that was the TYT TH7800 dual band radio. Pretty impressed. Pretty impressed with that radio so far as far as power output goes. The uh, One of the complaints I read about the TH9800 was that it wasn't consistent all the way through the band. Um, like you'd get full 50 watts on 146.0 to .5 and then it dropped down to 45 or 42 watts throughout the rest of the 2 meter band. They couldn't keep it a solid 50 watts uh, from 144 to 148. I never noticed an issue really driving around with it in my truck. I just keyed up repeaters and talked on it. I, I don't have a power meter in the truck, so uh, it was never really an issue for me. 440 and and 2 meters work just fine. But uh, and, th and like I said before, the only reason I really took it out of the truck, besides I wanted to test that 220 radio, was that the mic is so darn hot on it. You know, it's just in my, my big 4x4 truck, it... Um, it's no, it's just too much background noise. But it makes for a really good base station. I may hook it up here in a little bit, um, in the shack, probably right there, and uh, try to see how well it works. But uh, this TH7800, I'm gonna have to test the mic capabilities of uh, of that radio and probably put it out there on the comment section of this video. So looking forward to that. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can visit my website, www.grapevineamateurradio.com. Click on the tab at the top for Ham Radio 2.0.
you'll be able to see all the videos I've posted up to date, and uh, all the new posts will go there as I release them. You can also subscribe to um, help me financially. Uh, these videos cost money to make for uh, production costs, uh, for the equipment to record, and for the equipment to buy, and travel expenses and whatnot. I want to branch out some and start doing more stuff outside of the shack. And um, But the videos themselves will always be free. You'll never have to pay to see the video. But if you uh, feel so inclined, I would appreciate your support so that I can try to do this as a full-time gig. That's my focus. I want to be able to do this full-time. Just videos upon videos upon videos. And uh, good quality. That's the main thing. Good quality. So 73, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you out there soon.